what have we learned um, during that project? One thing that was really interesting was that most ESG metrics are long-term profit relevant. So we're not talking really about doing good. We are talking about doing well. This is not you know, the typical trade-off between what shareholders want and what other stakeholders want. Most ESG metrics that are used in the market today are long-term profit relevant. We also found it is a lot more than just quantitative metrics, a lot more than just numeric levels. You know, you can be better or worse. There are also metrics that just capture effort and how well you do something. We've then seen that most companies in the market focus on only a very few uh, number of metrics. It's very spotty what we do. And one of the, the things that we realized is that there's a lot more to do. Um, the opportunity is to actually uh, boost long-term value in the company. If you add ESG metrics to your existing incentive framework or uh, corporate performance reporting framework, you will actually have metrics that help you do better in the future. The opportunity is to reward people for that so that your managers are better motivated for a broader set of criteria. And we believe by doing that, you will reduce risk in the company. So adding ESG is really something that adds value to your shareholders and re reduces the risk for yourself. <clears throat> We've also developed a triple bottom line uh, presentation that we believe makes it a lot more intuitive to communicate your ESG performance. The result is basically standards are missing, uh, standards are not missing. We have a lot of standards. What is missing is consolidation of ESG performance. And that's the purpose of this project. Mm -hmm.